What's up guys? I know what you're thinking. Trevor, your room is very dirty and disorganized. Yeah, I'm aware. I don't know why, but the past like couple days, maybe past week, I've just felt like super unmotivated. Like unmotivated to work, to like make my bed, brush my teeth. This laundry is clean. Like I washed it and folded it the other day, but I just like haven't even put it up yet. Pretty sure my dishes are dirty. Everything's just a little bit out of sorts, and I'm trying to figure out why. I'm on this medicine called Accutane. I think everyone knows what that is. It's basically just for acne. One of the side effects, I think is like anxiety or depression, or I know it messes with like the chemical balance in your brain, because it's like an extremely intense drug. And I've like dealt with some anxiety and stuff in the past and I still kind of deal with anxiety, but I don't, I'm like, is this depression or am I just lazy? Am I just being lazy? Am I just not putting in effort? So I'm gonna try to clean some things up today and really try to flip the switch and get myself out of it because I've been in this cycle for a couple days now and it's been just not good for me, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna start by just making my bed. Here's to the start of flipping the switch. I'm not just gonna clean my room today and like get organized and all that good stuff. There's a couple things we're gonna do today. So one of them is I need to catch up on my work because I have not been working the past couple days. Two, we are going to a college basketball game. And I say we because you're coming with me. I've been watching a ton of college basketball this season and I'm not sure when that happened because there was like a good five year stint where I did not care about sports at all, had no idea who anyone was, didn't care to get invested, thought sports were stupid. And then somewhere in the past like year and a half, I started paying more attention. And then I was like, oh wait, this is actually like really fun. Tonight's game is USC versus Arizona. It should be a really, really good game. It should be pretty close too. Since it's at USC, I feel like the crowd is gonna be like so hype. But that's at 8 p.m. So we have like a whole day ahead of us. So yeah, gonna get some work done. May go on a little walk, may go work out. Let me go to the game. Um, I think that's the perfect recipe to get myself out of this funk that I've been in. I think it'll be a good day. I know it's not the most organized. I should get like a shoe organizer or something, but it works for now. As long as everything's like straight and in order, that's good enough for me. Some of this stuff just can't get organized because I don't even have a desk that properly has like drawers in it. I just have like a tabletop you would see at the bottom of like a Baptist basement. There, there's just gonna be stuff laying around. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, I'm making some food. My good friend Clay works at a coffee shop. Yesterday I was doing some work out of there and he gave me like a bunch of pastries. I've already eaten half of them, but then I'm also gonna make some avocado toast. I got some fancy bread this time from Whole Foods. breakfast looks pretty dang good to me well while it's not perfect I think we're in a much better position than we were when we started this morning beds made dishes are done I've eaten some food my desk is organized I put my laundry away cleaned up my closet took out the trash yeah we're miles ahead where I was yesterday got a nice little candle lit I think we're gonna try to work out some editing that I need to get done 
I'm gonna be honest, I I still feel like extremely unmotivated to do anything. I'm not an unmotivated person. This is just a feeling I'm having and I'm trying to just like accept it, let it be there, but um, continue to do the work that I need to get done anyways. Yeah, let's get some editing done and just keep pushing. Did as much as I could before I just decided I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna do my best to get ready to go to the gym and I think that's gonna be really good just to get my body moving. Even just get me out of this room. I've been in it all day. Overall, it's just good for you too. So yeah, let's get ready for the gym and get a little pump in. We just finished at the gym. I went ahead and showered there because it's crunch time, baby. I'm running late per usual. Told my friends I was gonna meet them at the game at 7.30, cause tip off is at eight. It's 6.49 right now. I still have to go home and change. I live about 10 minutes. I'm just doing math in my head right now. I'll see you guys at the game. How about that? I am back home. Um, can't believe I just spent $40 on a ticket for my team to just get a 20 piece on them. It should be a really, really good game. It should be pretty close too. Luckily, I'm not like the biggest USC fan, so it didn't kill me too bad that they lost, but I at least wanted a good game. Like Arizona absolutely murdered USC. It was, it was embarrassing. Overall, still a super fun time. And it's fun to just watch college ball, especially going into March Madness, you know? So I think Arizona has a chance of winning the whole thing. You don't care. You, you're, this is not a sports channel. Anyways, there was a really funny part in the game where, you know, they always have those different cams. It's like kiss cam or like dance cam or whatever. They were like highlighting the celebrities that were at the game and they point the camera at this New England Patriots uh, football player. They had the camera on him and right next to him was that artist 24 karat golden and he thought the camera was on him. So they pointed to like sort of the both of them and 24 karat golden's like, Uh, yeah, I'm here. And then they announced the New England Patriots player over the microphone. And you could see him be like. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'm back home. Um, I also just pounded some Chick-fil-A. My Chick-fil-A order. <laughs> Thank you for asking. A spicy chicken sandwich meal with sweet tea. Add pepper jack cheese to the sandwich. And I'll have three Chick-fil-A sauces. Thank you. So I devoured that. And I'm tired, man. It's like 11.30 now. I'm probably gonna go to sleep, call it a day. I think we progressed on flipping the switch. We definitely moved in the right direction. We did a lot of things that helped us. I keep saying us, like I'm the one with the issues here, not you. Uh, we'll see how I feel when I wake up and we'll go from there. I guess I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good morning. Already off to a better start today. Showered, teeth are brushed, got a bagel in the oven. I'm gonna try to just repeat some of the same habits I did yesterday, because obviously that helped and that worked. I need to do some editing. There's gonna be a common trend throughout this channel, and it is gonna be that there's always something to edit, always. And as soon as I feel like I'm getting close to the finish line, there's something around the corner that I have to edit, so. But I wanna do it outside of my apartment today. I don't know if you can see, but my bed is like five feet from my desk and that can be really dangerous because as soon as i want to take a break i can literally turn around and get in bed it feels like eating where you poop and i know that's like a that may be a gross analogy i don't really care but it feels like when i come home it feels like i'm at my workplace and i don't i don't want it to be that way i want it to be a place where i can like fully unwind and relax and so today i'm gonna go to my favorite coffee shop, my buddy Clay, he works there. I think I told you about Clay, he hooked me up with the pastries and just keep myself productive.
classic. All right, I'm leaving the coffee shop. I got a good bit of editing done, but I got a bunch of unfortunate news. I originally was supposed to be booked for a tour that left in like a couple weeks. There was some sort of miscommunication because I got a message from the manager and was basically like, hey, we're going in a different direction. We're hiring someone else. And so that kind of threw me off because I was kind of planning on that for income for the next few months and just some other things have fallen through for work but it was like a span of like two hours where i kept getting called and being like yeah man sorry this isn't gonna work out i'm like trying not to freak out kind of just disappointed just because i've gotten on tours before and like i feel like people just assume like i'm set now like i'm good it kind of sounds like i'm complaining about money all the time it's just me being real i'm just trying to be as honest as possible but for now I'll probably go work out eat some dinner and go to bed Guys, I have some breaking news. I have just been invited to go see an early private screening of the new Batman movie. We're gonna go see Robert Pattinson be Batman. I'm pretty stoked because I've never done anything like this where you get to go see a movie early. What? Well, that's some good news. After some crappy news I just got for the past couple hours, it's some good news. I was about to go to the gym. Not anymore. I don't know what you're supposed to wear to like an early, like, am I supposed to be wearing like a suit right now? Like, it's a private event. Like. This will do, right? Okay, I'm gonna go and I'll give you my review after. So, I just got back from the movie. It is very late. It's like past midnight. It was a three hour movie, but it was so good. If you've ever seen the movie Seven with Brad Pitt, it was pretty similar to that. And it was, yeah, acting was really good. Robert Pattinson crushed it. I think he's a really good Batman. It was just like our group in this huge theater. I've, I've never done anything like that. It was really cool. By the time this video is out, the movie's out and you, you can go watch it. <laughs> I don't mean to flex there. I think I'll make this the end of the vlog. I think we accomplished a lot the past two days. Did some things that helped us with the switch and get us out of our little unmotivated, unproductive cycle. I just came home to a clean room and all the dishes are done. My closet's organized. I'm about to eat a pop tart, brown sugar cinnamon, of course. Feeling blessed, feeling thankful. As always, thanks for coming along. I'm glad to have you guys. It's almost 400 of you. That's pretty sick. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And. Yeah, video over. Later.